Hello everyone, bringing you a video today which forms something of a bonus video in addition to Mannequin of the Month which will be coming out later in the day. And what we're talking about here is some more Royal Navy kit in uniform. Always seems to get a good reception, maybe not as many views as other videos, but people in the comments seem to like seeing some Royal Navy kit from time to time. Breaks up looking at the Army kit, which is the main focus of the channel. So I thought we'd have a look at something a bit different today, Royal Navy Class 2 Ratings Cap. We'll talk a bit about the cap tally and the ship that's associated with that as well. That's what we're going to have a look at in this video. And without further ado, we'll get into the main part of the video and have a look at this cap in some detail. So here we have the ratings cap we're going to talk about. This is a canvas topped example. So pre 1950s, the 1950s, they changed over the late 1950s, changed over to a, a plastic top for these. This is made of white canvas, which has been then whitened. It's a bit grubby here, so it could do with whitening again at some point. You can see we have uh, eyelets on the side here for ventilation on both sides. And then looking inside, there's a reason I've turned this round is that the colors are now correct. We have red for port and green for starboard. So right and left inside. So when you put this on, if you look inside, you're putting it on the right way around. This is a commercial example. You can see the blue lining material in the, in the top, and then these are separate sections stitched in on each side. We have a, a Dreadnought battleship there in gold print, which would be the brand uh, stamp, presumably the brand mark, and then the size of six and seven eighths, which is wrong. This is around a seven and an eighth. It fits me, and I, I take a seven and one eighth in UK and British hat sizes you can see how this has been bent in so it's from the side you can see it has what's referred to as a bow wave the way that the top of the cap is bent up which is quite a distinctive look and this also means that when you wear this on your head you can wear it flatter back because it actually grips the head so from that point of view quite snazzy in a way it's, it's something that's been modified to look a little bit uh, tiddly is the naval term modifying the, the dress uniform to uh, look a particular way in particular ways these were modified at larger bell-bottom trousers and so forth to produce a look which was referred to as tiddly so what i also want to talk about here is the cap tally and you can see how this is tied in a bow over the left ear here uh, bow it should line up with the side seam of the cap and then the name should be centered around the front here which it is just about and we have hms trout bridge now trout bridge was a t-class destroyer which was commissioned in 1943 and along with many other members of the t-class it was converted post-war into a type 15 frigate and it's its service as a frigate uh, through into the 1960s i think into the early 1970s even uh, that it was best known for uh, trout bridge was somewhat infamous in the fleet for being in dry dock almost continuously due to various bangs and prangs uh, due to navigational errors on the part of its navigating officer and uh, it was quite a joke uh, in the 1960s as a result of this and the, the whole conversion program is quite interesting in and of itself you can read more of that online and i recommend doing so you can see here the, the details of the weaving of the cap tally it's in gold on black as you can see and yeah that's the, the cap tally there as I say, quite an interesting ship to read about. I highly recommend going and having a look, finding out more information about it. It's quite a, an infamous vessel in the Royal Navy in the, in the post-war years, and certainly one interesting to read about. So I can recommend doing that. So as I say, this was one thing I haven't mentioned is that the chin stay there. You can see we have a herringbone twill tape chin stay there, which would be worn as ordered to secure the cap in windy weather and so forth and on parade sometimes. So that's a look at this Royal Navy ratings cap, HMS Trout Bridge cap tally, and something I wanted to talk about because obviously the previous videos talking about Royal Navy kit tend to get fairly good reception. People like to hear about it, it's a bit different, even if the view counts aren't as high. So I thought this was worth talking about. So HMS Trout Bridge cap tally on a Royal Navy canvas topped ratings cap. So I hope you found it interesting looking at that. As I say, always interesting to talk about Royal Navy kit. It's my first interest. It was my first area of collecting when I first started collecting uniforms and kit and so forth. So it's always nice to talk about Royal Navy kit on the channel. If you have found this interesting and you'd like to see more, please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And whether you're newly subscribing or you've previously subscribed, please do make sure you hit the little bell, the notification button down below. That will of course alert you when I upload future videos. If you really like my uploads and you would like to support the channel, you can. Both Patreon and PayPal are linked down below. And a massive thank you as ever to everybody who supports the channel using those two methods. It's greatly appreciated, as I always say. Thank you all very much indeed. 
If you'd like to follow the channel on social media, you can. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter are all linked down below. And if you'd like to get in touch but you don't really use social media, there is of course an email address down below as well. That's everything for this video, so until next time, bye for now.